Yes, guess who's back? So the first thing that I'm noticing here at Volcano Bay is that there are a lot more instructions for Tapu Tapu. They've changed the spiel on the bus, there's signs everywhere, and they've also changed the, as I showed in the last Volcano Bay video, the design of the Tapu Tapu, so it clips on a little bit better. Oh yeah, crack a towel, looking good. So Volcano Bay opened an hour ago. Seems like it's gonna be a very light day, which sounds amazing, I can't wait. I'm excited to ride some rides. Or slide some slides? I know it's been a minute since we've been here last, but it does seem like they've been trying to rearrange some of these premium loungers because this is a whole group of premium loungers. You have to pay extra to get these loungers and they will deliver food to them. So maybe that's why they put them all in a packet here so that the servers can just run back real quick. So as I've said in previous videos, like the more recent Volcano Bay videos, they've stopped allowing me to take the GoPro on the majority of the rides. So I think that those first few trips out here, well, we got we got point of views of every single ride. So we'll put links to a couple of videos down below and up in the corners throughout the video but I don't think I'll be able to get any uh, point of view videos today on the slides. I know that I can still take the GoPro in the rivers and the wave pools and stuff like that. So we'll see what happens throughout the day. So I know that surveys in the theme parks are some things that people don't really like. Occasionally I'll take them. I like the ones that they had here. They had some people handing out iPads saying, would you like to take a quick 30 second survey? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So all that it was was you enter in your email address and then they send you a survey later today after you visited everything in the park to ask you how you enjoyed your visit to the park. I like that way a lot better than answering questions on the iPad as you go. Another quick note, since the last time we were here, they put the frogs back. That's good. Hopefully they made these a little bit stronger. Feels good when it's been open for an hour and everything is still right now. I have a feeling it's gonna be like that all day because the sun's sort of out, but not really. And it's a little bit chilly. I don't know. Maybe more people will be heading to the theme parks than to Volcano Bay. Another side note, it looks like you don't need a tube to go in the Rapid River here. You can just wear a life vest, which before you needed a tube. Oh, and they've got a lifeguard swimming in the river. Actually, it kind of seems like there are no tubes in the river. Like you just have to have a life vest. Well, that's interesting. Oh yeah, look, this is where the tubes used to be. Now you just have to get a life vest to go in, but you can come in through this entrance, which you didn't used to be able to. Definitely a light day here at Volcano Bay. That's good. Today's Thursday. I have a feeling that tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday are not gonna be this light at all. I feel like the weight limit on Kala and Tainu keeps changing. It is 230 pounds now, and you can see where they put a little piece over top of it. I don't know what it's, I think it started out at 300, and it's dropped down to 200 where I couldn't ride it. Then it went back up so I can ride it. Uh, good times, but I think this is gonna be the final weight limit. Also, it's a ride now, which is usually a long wait. There are two things that are on my quote unquote bucket list for Volcano Bay. I wanna get a cabana and see how, see what that's like. And I also want to stay in one of these Volcano Bay view rooms from Cabana Bay because the nighttime sunset view of Volcano Bay and the morning sunrise view of Volcano Bay, I've seen pictures and it looks awesome. After walking one lap around Volcano Bay, it's getting kind of hot. I'm ready to get into my suit and get in the water. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm sorry for everybody from up north that is dealing with snow and cold weather or from another country where it's very cold. Sorry. I'm gonna say this again. You can see, I mean, it's not a very busy day, but you see like maybe eight people here. This is the very first bathroom on the left. The entrance is right over there. Don't go to that bathroom or those lockers. You can see Krakatau right here, the volcano. Go all the way behind it in the very back. There's bathrooms back there, lockers. Nobody's gonna be back there. And I'll show you, I'll go get a locker back there after we check out some of the merchandise. It's good to see you again, Shark Man. I've missed you. Oh, I kind of like this shirt. It like matches very well with the Volcano Bay theme. And it's a lot cheaper than that Disney shirt that we saw. It's only 50 bucks only here is a look into the locker area that i was talking about right when you first walk into the park let's go check out what my locker area looks like i just wanted to uh just got reminded of a real quick tip for you guys if you come during the summer or during the hot season make sure you keep your flip-flops or like water shoes with you you can't wear them on the slides but there are little like spots for you to put them outside of the slide the ground gets very hot when it's like 100 degrees outside the ground gets very hot they do have sprayers that try to cool off the ground but they don't reach everywhere. So ground gets hot, bring your flip-flops with you so that you don't burn your feet. I'm gonna leave mine because it's, it's a very mild day out. Here is where my locker area is. Oh, I don't know if I can handle the crowd. There's so many people in here. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a locker, gonna go ride some rides. Then I'll get the GoPro, go in the lazy river, 
go around or the rapid river a row it's not called rose rapids what's it called i don't remember what it's called it's been so long since i've been to volcano bay i don't remember the names of the rides man i gotta get back over here it's starting to get warm so I think we'll be heading back to Volcano Bay more often. So I've actually only been on one ride, but I wanted to show you guys something that I found that was really cool because what happened was I was trying to ride uh, Krakatau, the aqua coaster, and it went down, so I couldn't ride it. I rode uh, Punga Racers, which is like the mat slides. Super fun. Uh, the water was a lot warmer than I thought it was gonna be. The air is what's cold. I found a new tapu spot that I think is very cool inside of the volcano. Let's go check it out. Not to creep on people's private cabanas, but they have these flags out here now, and I think that those are so you like, flip it up when you need an attendant to come by and do something. Or maybe after the attendant came so that when you're far away, you're like, oh, my food's here. I don't know. Does anybody rent at a cabana and knows what this flag is for? Okay. All right, check this out. So there's these, these sprayers up here that are spraying streams of water. And there's a tap spot here that you tap and then you have control over the sprayers. Here, this one's a little bit easier to see right there. See, I'm moving it around back and forth by moving this, this handle. It's pretty amazing. I'm sorry, I'm like splashing the lifeguard. Sorry, sorry lifeguard. So now that we've got clarification, you can't take any electronics on any ride, any slide, like phone, GoPro, except for like watches. You can bring watches on, they told me. But you can take it in the pools and the rivers. So I remember the name of the fearless river, Teawa. That's the rapids. Let's go in Teawa and put our life vest on and see how it differs from when you used to have to have a tube. So here is all of the different sizes of life vests that you have to wear inside of the uh, Teawa, the Fearless River. See, they got extra large and stuff. And just so you guys know, oh, well, this is a double XL for 46 through 48. I think that's the size of a chest. I'm wearing an adult large, so I'm a fairly large person. As you can see, it's still a little bit like tight on me. Oh. This water is still warm. It's not as warm as this. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it's just cold in that shallow area. But it feels pretty good in the cold air. So I think that even if you come out here on like a day where it's 60 degrees outside. Oh, oh, I just got hit by a jet. Oh, goodness. Without the teeth. Kind of hurt. Um, yeah, I think if you come out here even on a colder day, as long as they're open, shouldn't be too bad in the water. At least cold out of the water, though. I have to admit, I kind of like this better than the tubes because I just kind of like float here and it's lovely. I'm speeding around the river. Look at how fast I'm going. I'm like really flying through this water here. What does that mean? Is there a wave coming? Yeah. Oh boy. Dies down pretty quick though. It's nice to float, but I really dislike these big foam life jackets. I wish I could have like a normal life jacket because they don't have this big shoulder area. There's like a flat spot there so that it fits a little bit better on you. It does make relaxing easier though. Ooh, the bubbles. You guys remember when uh, Volcano Bay first opened? We're like, oh, it looks like there's holes in the ground for bubbles to come out. There's bubbles there now. Quick tip, I just went underneath. There's a waterfall back there that I went underneath and uh, it was very cold because it wasn't this nice warm water. Also, they added this pad in on this island because this there used to be bumpers and stuff here. Now it's a permanent pad. Looks so much better than the bumpers did. Still my favorite part of the river is this is the fastest section because they got jets everywhere. sign here that tells you where the exit is and to move right. Speaking of exits, let's make our exit. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Let's make our exit and go and ride some more rides. Sorry, I can't take you guys with me. I wanted to point out that this area with the geyser, the entrance to Teawa, has a lot of life vests. So if you go to an entrance that doesn't have as many life vests, maybe come over here. This is an interesting event that has just happened. The internet went down at Volcano Bay, so the lockers are not working which is funny. Uh, so I can't get into the locker to put the GoPro up. Uh, I'm gonna see if they'll let me just put it in my pocket so I can ride some rides. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so a little bit later in the afternoon, I was able to put the GoPro away because they just have some people over there manually opening up the lockers with keys. What I did was I rode a bunch of rides during that time. I got to ride 
Krakatau, the aqua coaster, which the sprays on that aqua coaster are very cold. I'm so glad that the sun has come out now because that helps with the cold sprays. You also take your picture on it and the spray effect is working at the bottom of the last drop, which is nice. I got to ride Kala and Tainu, which is the drop slides that we talked about the higher weight limit or the lower weight limit on. Those are the uh, most violent slides I've ever been on in my life. They slam you down, they shoot you around corners. There's so many G-forces you can hardly keep your head up, but you wanna keep your head up because you're gonna go down a drop and if your head's down, you'll probably hit your head, which sounds uh, very painful. But this is only if you are at the high end of the weight limit. Like I'm at 213 and so the weight limit is 230. So I think that that kind of adds to me going a lot faster in that slide. And then I got to ride Oh No, which was just fun. Fun all around. I love that ride. Also says that they take your picture on there. On your Tapu Tapu, it says, remember to smile uh, on Oh No when you tap in, which, and all of the rides that have cameras on them. So here you can see the camera on Krakatau, and this is the splash effect that I was talking about. Let's see if we can get somebody coming down it and the splash effect going off. Just like that. I think the question now is how warm is the wave pool? Oh, it's not as warm as I thought it was gonna be. It's not cold, but it's not as warm as I thought it was gonna be. While you guys were in the blocker, which was maybe like an hour, I pretty much rode everything except for the family rap ride. Which is, oh, and I didn't ride the big drop slide right there that comes out and shoots a big can of water out. I just didn't want to walk all the way up the stairs. I've ridden it a couple of times, never gotten a camera on there. I wish, I wish I could take a camera on there because I want you guys to see what it's like. It's pretty fun. Universal has done a few POVs of it. Maybe we'll put a link down in the description down below if we can find one. So I do have to admit, if you want to come to Volcano Bay, I do highly suggest January or February, although it doesn't seem like the time of year to come because it's winter. Here in Florida, we don't have very long winters. I did learn something else while I was walking around without you guys. Sorry, that's just the way it was. You guys were in the locker. Uh, there's a spot inside of the volcano. If you come on a cold day and you go in the water and it's warm and then you come out and you're like, oh, it's cold out here. I'm gonna show you where to go to warm up. So right here is the tap point for Kokori Body Plunge, the big tall drop slide here in the center of the volcano. Right there's the wave pool. Here is the entrance to the lazy river. And we go down this little path right here, right next to all of these cabanas. And then once you get past all the cabanas, we're here next to this pool. And you guys remember, I was, I was doing the, uh, the touch point right there with the two controllers that were controlling this sprayer and right inside the volcano in here you make this left here and head into this area right here that is underneath the waterfall it is so warm in here it's nice and i'm hoping that it's warm all the time even in the winter but right here this is the warmest spot in the park it feels so good in here Oh yeah. Also, I know it's very loud in here, but this is also a shortcut through the volcano. So the park basically makes the shape of an eight. So you can get to everything if you go around the outside of the volcano, or if you take this path through the volcano, you can make it to the other side. And these two slides right here are Kala and Tainu. These are the slides that I said were very painful. I rode, the very first time I ever rode it, I rode the blue side. It wasn't so bad. And then today I rode the green side and it was a uh, very fast. I think that the one is faster than the other. And I think the green side is faster than the blue side. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, I talked to the lifeguard. He said the green side is definitely faster than the blue side. And you can kind of see that in the drops at the very end. If you look through the bushes here, you can see the blue side is like a nice gentle slope. And then the green slide here is like, ah! So green side is definitely faster. It's been a very productive day here. Even though we've only been here for about three hours, we've gotten on a lot of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and put away the GoPro, get changed, get the regular camera back and kind of maybe do a little bit of exploring, maybe one more lap and then head out. The locker situation is definitely not looking good for this area. A lot of people waiting to, I think, just buy lockers. Back with the big camera, end of the day. Uh, I'm very impressed with how today went at Volcano Bay. Aside from the locker situation, which you can see that line behind me, I did have to wait for Krakatau. It went down once during the day, but the, all the other rides were walk-on, so I didn't have to worry about it. Walked on, wrote another ride, 
by the time I got off, Kraken Tower was back up, I could ride it. Towards the end of the day now, it's sort of gotten around like two o'clock. Some of the rides are starting to have weights on them. Nothing incredibly long. The uh, main drop slide has a 45 minute wait. That's the longest wait in the park. Other than that, most everything else is walk on. Oh no, it was like a 20 minute wait. Actually, I think maybe Krakatau is a wait right now. We're gonna walk by it and we'll see. Krakatau is getting up there, 55 minutes. So let's go see what Kokuri is. I think what happened was uh, the sun came out and people started coming to the park. So it's my cue to leave. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in as a tip to this video, come early come early in the day check the weather the day before and if it's gonna like warm up in the afternoon go early kind of tough out the coldness and it's not even coldness quote unquote like 66 degrees is not bad and the water's warm tough it out stay as long as you can until it gets to about like maybe two or three and the wait times start to go up because the sun has come out and it's warmed up i think that you will be able to have a very efficient day at volcano bay like that to some of the wait times we were seeing when the park first opened, uh, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. I also noticed that a tour group showed up. From seeing them around the park, it seems like there's maybe around 50 to 100 of them. So that will, I think 100 people walking in as part of one group will definitely jack up the wait times because they'll all probably try to want to ride the rides at the same time. Now that Universal and Volcano Bay are having photos on the rides, I think it's time to revamp the, the photo system. So as an annual pass holder, I can get a year's worth of digital photos that I take within any of the parks for $150. That's all free at Disney. It's included with the cost of my annual pass. If I wanted to do it for one day at all of the parks, it's $80. If I wanted to do it for just Volcano Bay, it's 50. It's a lot of very strange numbers. And if I wanted to buy just one photo, just one digital photo, it's $20. This it seems kind of, it's like, it, free advertising for Universal. Like if I came to Volcano Bay and I rode one ride, got the photo off that, a digital copy of that one photo paid $2. I would put that photo on social media and you guys would put Volcano Bay across the bottom of it. Like I survived Krakatau a frame around it. Free advertising. Well, I mean, free advertising. And I paid you to do it. I paid you $2 to advertise on social media to all of my, like not, not saying just me, anybody, anybody's friends. I think that's a better deal. It's like we're doing a little bit of production here. These are all Universal crew members though. So I don't know what they're actually doing, but they're doing some sort of a shoot. They've got a model there or an actress, got all kinds of equipment. I wonder what they're doing. I guess it only found one photo of me from today. That's a good photo. I was paying attention. Look at that. There's me on. <laughs> Oh, Taniwa tubes. Look at me, smiling at the camera. Cheesing, as they say. There was definitely, definitely like four or five other photos that were taken today. Maybe none of them were working. I don't know. Very strange. This one definitely worked well, though. I like that on the way out, you have to go through like a force field to make sure that you're not taking a Tapu Tapu with you. What an excellent day at Volcano Bay. Waits weren't very long. Did have a little bit of an issue with the lockers. That's okay. We didn't eat anything today. I was trying to find a healthy option here, but I decided I'm just gonna go home, save the money, get some food at home, and that way I know that I'm eating something healthy. I did find out that the theme park food is absolutely terrible for you, and uh, I come here very often, so it's a bad idea for me to get theme park food if I wanted to maintain a healthy lifestyle, which I'm trying to do. So with that being said, we are off, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.